What's up everybody? Welcome back and if you're new here, thank you guys for coming and please subscribe to my channel. Today I'm doing a video where I'm talking about my worst fan experiences slash encounters and stuff. And quick disclaimer, don't get me wrong, I love meeting you guys, I love talking to you, meeting new people, meeting you guys again 10 times, 20 times, but there's that small fraction of people where you meet me and I meet you and it's not a good timing or you do something that you don't really understand is wrong and it's just a little bad. Those are the times we're gonna be talking about because people love negative shit. So the first one was actually the most recent one, and it wasn't that bad, but it was still really annoying and frustrating. And it was at Playlist just a couple weeks ago, and we were at the Starbucks inside the hotel, and there was a ton of people asking for photos from me and Rosa. Again, I was completely fine with it, but there's this one dad. Didn't know who I was. His daughter wanted a photo, which was fine, but he didn't know who I was. He literally barged in front of everyone, like shoved Rosa out of the way and was like asking for a photo just of me. And he's like putting his phone right in my face. And he's like, let me take a picture of you. And then he was like, aren't you famous? Dude, is that the only reason you want a photo? Because I'm famous? Like, first of all, no, I'm not famous. And if anyone thinks I'm famous, no, I am well known on social media, way different. But he would grab random girls and be like, here, they want a photo of you. Like, can you talk to them? One time he literally grabbed three girls he did not know. And he's like, these three beautiful, lovely girls would love to talk to you. Can you just have a conversation with them? And I'm like, Okay, first of all, he's like, these lovely, beautiful girls. I'm like, that's a little creepy if you don't know them. Second of all, I'm married, so I don't really give a sh And third of all, have some respect. I was talking with other fans, and he just interrupts us. I understand you're a dad, but you have no higher authority to other people. If you're in line at Starbucks, you're not gonna cut people because you're older. It's the same thing. Just because there's a ton of little girls running, it doesn't mean since you're a dad, you can cut in front of them. Stop talking to random people and cutting people off, like people that were waiting to talk to me. He was such a disrespectful dad. It's ridiculous. The next one goes back to Holland. It was right before our wedding. We were at the house and Rosa was upstairs with her sister showing her sister the wedding dress. She tried it on and showed her sister for the first time what her wedding dress looked like. I've never seen it, so I wasn't upstairs. So I was with my brother-in-law and we were at the grocery store together while Rosa was at home trying on her wedding dress for her sister for the first time to see. And this dude at the register, he was working at the cash register, he was like, oh my God, I'm such a big fan of you, like blah, blah. That's so crazy that you're here. And I was like, oh yeah, like, I live nearby, I come to this grocery store all the time, like I'll see you around, trying to be nice, trying to be friendly. He was a nice dude, so I was being nice. After that, we walk home, and I guess he got off work, or did something right then, because we get home, and about 30 seconds after we walk in the door, I hear a doorbell, and I thought it was my brother-in-law ringing the doorbell, so I was like, what? Super confused, turned around, and he opens the door, and it's the dude, and he's like, oh, is, is Sam here? And my brother-in-law is like, uh, yeah? And it's, it's the guy from the cash register and his friend. And they ring on our doorbell and ask for a picture. He was very nice and he said sorry, but you just don't do that. And if you guys ask for a picture, if you see me in front of my house and you ask for a picture, it's honestly fine. But if you follow me and ring my f***ing doorbell, that is another story. I don't feel comfortable living at a house where people are gonna be ringing my doorbell. Mostly when it's right before our wedding and there were so many things that just didn't add up, that didn't make sense for him to actually do that. So. That was my second story. So the next one is going all the way back to this one show called Teen Who, where all of us all came and we did a meet and greet there and it was amazing. But while the show was going on, people were singing and stuff. Me and my friend Taylor Kniff, as most of you probably know who he is, jumped into the crowd and were like having a fun time hanging out, like dancing to people singing. We were both standing next to each other, like maybe this far apart from each other and we're crowded by people because it was a big show. Randomly, I just feel a hand shoot down my pants, like, down my pants right here. And I freaked out. I can't even, I kind of blanked out at that moment. I froze. I was like, oh, what? And I like pulled the hand out and like just got out of there. And Taylor left too at the same time, which was really weird. We get backstage and Taylor runs up to me. He's like, dude, a girl just put her hand down my pants. So happens, the girl literally like double fisted us both of us at the same time. That was the most uncomfortable situation of my life. That's literal assault on two people at the same time. I felt completely violated. It was horrible. Never, 
ever do that, no matter who they are. You don't do that without consent. And it just baffled me that someone would actually do that. So last, but definitely not least, because it's my favorite story, because it pisses me off so much. There's this one word that you guys are gonna find out that I absolutely hate. When people say it, I, I lose my likeness to them. I like them less every time people say it. And it's, it's sad because it's not that bad of a word, but oh my God. Let's jump right into this story. We were on the O2 tour. And I know if you guys have seen Ricky's video doing this, he talked a lot about the O2 tour. Well, this is a different story from the O2 tour because I was alone. There was one stop where we had a hotel. We had one day off and we had a hotel to sleep in, shower in, you know, shower shave. We got there like five in the morning, really early. So I was still asleep on the bus. I slept till like 2 p.m. Everyone was in the, in the hotel already, showering and stuff and getting ready. And I was still sleeping on the bus because I slept really late. I got woken up to the door opening and I'm in my underwear in one of the bunks and I like, like, open the curtain and look and I see a girl poke her head in random ass girl poke her head into the tour bus and I'm like what the hell I'm in my underwear like this can't happen like what if she steals our computer or something so I grab my clothes throw it on and I'm like ready to like chase someone that has my computer or something I open the door and it's her and her friend standing there and she's like hey and I'm like what the f do you think you're doing like I was super defensive immediately because people that are on tour their tour bus is their house you consider it your house for that month two months three months however long you're on that bus she's like oh like I I just wanted to get on the bus I was like you don't f do that she's like what I'm a savage like I don't give a f and I'm like you're a f savage all right well next time you f do that I'm gonna call the cops on you she's like oh well I'm a savage, blah, 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 I don't care. Imagine someone walking into your house and then you seeing that, putting clothes on, running out and being like, what the f are you doing? And they're like, oh, I'm a savage. Like there's no excuse, f a savage. Go to jail if you're a savage. And then something didn't click in her head because she looked at me, she's like, do you wanna hang out? No, I don't wanna hang out. She's like, why not? I'm like, you just broke into my tour bus and then you f***ing asked to hang out? What the f just ridiculous. And that's why I hate the word savage. So guys, that is it for my video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Once again, I do love meeting you guys, and I go on tour because I like to meet you guys, but there are exceptions where you shouldn't come in my house, knock on my door, put your hands down my pants, try and kiss me. That happened once. Different story, different time, another video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you all. You're all beautiful, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.